And this I'm joined now by Dr. Mora Sanda Kuyate, Executive Director of Inter-African Committee, which deals uh, with traditional practices affecting women and children. Thank you very much for joining me here. Thank you. Now, I thank uh, France 24, because we were accompanied by the uh, media during our fight against uh, female genital mutilation. I would like just to say that uh, the term of uh, circumcision is not relevant. It's a female genital mutilation because it's not circumcision. Circumcision is cutting the skin. Inter-African Committee was created by Africans themselves and supported by the international community in 1984 in Dakar. Now we are 29 countries around Africa and 17 affiliates around the world. So what we are trying to do is to bring the attention and to mobilize the uh, political leaders, religious leaders, women, men, young people, and all the community to come together and to say no to the female genital mutilation. It's not easy. After 30 years now, we have some results. The Three decades in the field trying the to fight result, against this. The first result is we have um, broken the taboo around this term. The Inter-African Committee, you can see the organization uh, led by the young people saying no to the FGM. We are trying to do that through the school and uh, through also the organization, young people organization. We have something which is very, very important at African level. We tried to mobilize, to sensitize, to advocate toward the uh, heads of states in Africa and African Union. We are very, very happy to see that the, the heads of state in Africa are very committed, and now we have the uh, law in 19 countries in Africa. The religious leaders, why? Because people are just linking the FGM to the religion, but it's not true. There is no any single relationship between both. Yes, but there is a good news. We have created uh, 10 years ago a network of religious leaders at African level who are working closely with Inter-African Committee now. One of the most important is the law. So at some point, you have to protect the girls. What kind of instrument do you have to protect the girls? It's only the, the law for us at national, regional, and international level. The third one, very, very important also, is taking care of the victims because we are talking about prevention, prevention, but some of the victims are suffering, but they can't say that openly. So we are trying to help them, to bring them through the uh, health care and so, and give them the, some support. Okay, Dr. Morisanda Kuyate from the uh, Inter-African Committee, thank you very much uh, for taking a, coming in today on this uh, day to bring awareness to this, to this cause to, to stop it. Thank you very My much pleasure. for joining thank us. Thank you here. so much. Thank you. Thank you.